everybody. I'm back. Um, <laughs> it's time for some shameless self-promotion. Uh, <laughs> uh, the next poet I'm going to call up is in a choir that I am in also with Aisha. So that means I'm calling Andy up next. Hi, Andy. You're going to come in a minute. Just a minute. Let me promote our choir for a second. So Andy and Aisha and I are in a choir uh, based out of Yellow Springs, Ohio called World House Choir. Um, all you need to know is that it's a Yellow Springs choir, basically. That tells you a lot about the repertoire that we have. Uh, we have a concert coming up in a couple of weeks, which is so scary close. Um, <laughs> so we have a couple of performance dates. On Thursday, October 27th, we have an open dress rehearsal. So basically you can show up and catch a show. Uh, our choir director is probably going to stop us and make us restart sometimes if we don't do perfectly. So, but it, 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 it is. It'll, it'll be a good performance. And then on the 28th, we have a full formal concert. And they both start at 7 p.m. They're at the Foundry Theater at Antioch College in Yellow Springs. We've been working really, really hard on this. And uh, all of our songs have a really awesome message. So we would love for you to come out and see us. Thank you. Andy is our next poet. I'm excited to hear her poem. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is not my poem. And in fact, it's actually a song. It is not a song with a really awesome message. In fact, it's a parody of a song with a really awesome message. If you're familiar with this, the story Velveteen, about the Velveteen Rabbit, um, so a Songwriter named Kathy Marr wrote a beautiful ballad called Velveteen about the Velveteen Rabbit and about how, you know, finding the love of the right person will make you real. And a man with a very sick sense of humor decided that that was the perfect opportunity for a parody, which I only really get to play with this time of year. It's called Dear Departed. It's inspired in part by A Rose for Emily by William Faulkner. When I was boxed and laid to rest beneath the lily field, I didn't know that there were those to whom the dead appealed. The earthworms and bacteria have left their marks behind. But if someone can love me still, I'm sure that I won't mind. It might be just my luck, some weirdo will choose me for the one and dig me up each evening long enough to have his fun. And now some drunken sailor has decided to get fresh in spite of my protruding bones and decomposing flesh. I lie here only watching as I often did in life but to him my unresponsiveness makes me the perfect wife. It was just my luck that someone would choose me for the one. He digs me up each evening long enough to have his fun. Now all you ladies worried that your shape, your love will not come true. And all you men who want a girl who won't care what you do. Just take your cue from Faulkner or from Poole and Passavoy and find some dear departed whose cadaver to enjoy. Just find an isolated graveyard with carcasses to steal, though the stench may be disgusting quite enough to make you real.